One thing I love about technology is about how easy it actually is to do upgrades, especially now. In the old days, doing things like a hard drive upgrade was really difficult and a big pain in the butt. As a matter of fact, many different stores today offer the service of doing hard drive upgrades for you, and you can pay up to $50 to $100 to get a hard drive installed. Well, I'm going to show you on Get Connected today how easy it is to actually install new hard drives. First thing, whenever you open up your computer, the number one enemy against a computer inside is static electricity. So if you're in a dry area, even, even in a wet area, I should be wearing an anti-static device so that I don't pass any electric shocks into this computer, because that's what blows the transistors. So when you do go to install the drive, the first thing, if you note, my HP computer here has a number of available slots where I can actually put in new items. For example, the hard drive. This is the hard drive that's in the computer right now. I have simply pulled out one of these little extender here, and now I'm going to mount the drive. I don't even need a screw anymore. Basically, these come set up so that it's really easy to do the upgrade. Snap in both sides here, one there and one there, that's all four of them. And now I've got the drive mounted. I simply just slide it into the computer system. You hear that click? It's in place. I've actually physically mounted the drive. We're gonna put in a one terabyte drive from Hitachi today, which is pretty cool. This is a SATA drive, so it works a little bit differently than the previous system. Basically, if you see down here inside the motherboard, I can put up to one, two, three, four, five SATA drive upgrades into this computer system here. So that's amazing. We can put five terabyte drives in there. So I'm going to take the cable. This actually came with the Hitachi drive. I'm simply just going to plug it in. And then all I do is connect to my drive. One last step, we need power. We've connected the physical drive to the motherboard so that now the computer can actually see that drive's there. The last thing we need to do is just plug in one of these little power guys right here. You can see that this computer is upgraded so you can put in a number of them. Just slide that into place like so. Whoop, that popped off. It's nice to make it nice and tight so that it won't come off. So then you've got the power, we've got the connection, we've got the drive mounted. I simply turn on the computer. The CMOS will automatically detect that there's a drive there. This one's going to be set up as a slave to my master, so that means that it's going to be an additional drive all ready to go. It's that easy to do an upgrade. There might be a couple different steps depending on the type of computer you have, but overall, we've got a one terabyte addition to our computer. We're ready to rock and roll.